What's going on guys, Jack here and welcome back to the Road to Glory Let's Play Episode 3. Today we're going to be focusing on corner tactics uh, or corner tricks. One way that I have been successful with, I'll talk to you about and really go into as much detail as possible from the clips I've got in this episode. So I've scored quite a few corners and a lot of my friends when I play against them, they're like, oh no, Jack's got a corner because I seem to score quite a lot. I don't know why. I'm going to go for it in this episode though. So, last episode, I've got to say didn't do that well and I know YouTube has been playing up recently so unfortunately this series will come to an end if we don't get the support but I do want to say thank you for the guys that have been supporting the series so far whether you're liking the video or just simply leaving a comment it's just nice seeing you know comments and interaction on the videos that you make as a YouTuber but I know Road to Glories these days especially are a hardcore FIFA uh, viewing if that makes sense so only hardcore FIFA players are going to enjoy this whereas you know I can make other videos which are less for the hardcore FIFA players if that makes sense um, so yeah if we don't get 500 likes on this episode guys I'm gonna have to call the series to an end just simply because uh, as a youtuber I've got to focus on making videos that are doing well um, I may even make another channel just for Road to Glories but that, that's another story for another time um, Right at the start of this episode, we bought a new player, Delafue, who's going to be my right wing. We go into our first game, we're currently in Division 9 with 6 points, and I think we need something like 13 points to get the title. We managed to win the first game 2-0, but have you guys already noticed, this episode is very long. It's actually over 16 minutes long, and um, we actually played 10 games in this episode. So usually in my Road to Glories, especially on FIFA 15, I only used to do 2 or 3 games per episode. Now we've upped it to 10. I think this may be a one-off. Maybe I'll do something like 7 or 8. But I just wanted to give you guys a fun, packed, full of games episode. Um, but obviously after winning that game, I went and opened a pack and uh, sold as much as I could from the pack to make as much coins. Then we come up against this guy who actually had Rashford up front who is deceivingly good for a 76 rated player simply because he has a lot of pace he also had Rooney which this year to be totally honest with you isn't all that great I mean he's not bad I'm not saying he's awful he's just not as good as you may expect him to be but um, we have scored a corner so far I didn't really go over it but there's going to be more corner goals in this episode to talk about so we will talk about it I do get quite fortunate with my first goal there it does fall nicely for Tor but that finish, you know, most goalkeepers would save it. It's quite a narrow finish, you know, you've really got to place it. Uh, here, Amrabat with a lovely finish. He does notice the, the goalkeeper comes out and I chip it um, a far post, basically, and it was just perfectly weighted. But he does get through here. Rashford's showing exactly um, how dangerous he is. And actually, talking about Rashford, not yesterday, the day before yesterday, I was at FIFA 17 launch and I actually saw Rashford with my own eyes, which is pretty incredible considering, you know, I'm just a FIFA player, YouTuber. And we go to these events and obviously you see the proper footballers and it's a bit surreal at first. But we do then make it 3-1 here, Amrabat in the 85 minute and I'm pretty sure that kind of sealed the deal there. Really took the pressure off and it's lovely when you do that in a road to glory. But we go up to 12 points in this division and only need one draw to actually win the title which is also nice. We get the, obviously the big bonus we get for getting a title. Um, open up a pack obviously for winning and uh, I'll get a player which I thought maybe I could sell but I couldn't. Um, it was a rare player so I usually discard for about six or 700 uh, coins. <clears throat> And then what happened was um, I went and bought a new left back, which you guys have been suggesting to me. But at the same time, a lot of you guys have been leaving suggestions that are a lot cheaper. And that's because I asked for it. I didn't realise at this stage of uh, the Road to Glory series, I'd have actually as many coins as I did. Um, so I actually picked up Moreno, who's actually one of the best left backs in uh, the BPL, to be totally honest with you. So really happy with that buy. And I think he'll go up in price by the time I sell him, because obviously the full game comes out soon. The, uh, the really big players get more expensive and the, the cheaper players, believe it or not, actually get cheaper just because of supply and demand, basically. But we go 1-0 up here and this guy, I just kept the pressure on and he had a couple of opportunities here which he just wasn't, he, you know, he got into my 18-yard box but he just didn't know what to do with it there. And I think, overall, as a FIFA player, I'm definitely better as a defender. And that's not to say that I'm never going to concede or I'm not going to concede stupid goals, but I think as a player, I'd rate myself better as a defender than an attacker. Uh, we actually managed to win that game. I went and bought a new centre mid as well, and it's getting to the stage now where I have to spend at least three or four thousand coins to actually get a player that's worth upgrading my team with. So I went for Amri Khan. Amri Khan? Khan? I don't know why I called him Khan, but he is an awesome player as well. He's not really uh, someone that's great at going forward, and maybe that's why I'm a better defender. Maybe I seem to favour the players from my squad that actually, you know, for example, Emre Can. He's he's not exactly the best at going forward. Obviously, he's got good movement, good passing, but he's not great at shooting. So maybe that's why. I've only just realised that myself. But we go into the next game, and you can see here, nice squad, um, pretty pretty uh, good for in terms of chemistry, and I'd, 
I find that coming up against these squads, some of the players that have like a, a lone player in, that's really good. Sometimes they play too, like they, they focus too much with that one player and it's just easy to read. Uh, but we do start off this game really well. 15th minute, go through here with Sun. Don't know how he got into that kind of striker position, but I'm not going to have a go at him because he's got the pace and he's, he's also got the finishing. But this guy, he does a really nice attack here. I think he was using the no-look dribbling. If you don't know what that is, it's basically on the Xbox. You hold the LB button and it... It, it means you can change direction quite quickly whilst also keeping your speed. And this is the corner I'm talking about, guys. So, as you can see there, the starting position of that circle, you need to bring it slightly diagonally closer to you. Um, I will break it down in another video. If you want me to break it down and make a video completely fo completely focusing on the corner, let me know. You're going to see it again, as I said, a couple more clips and just to prove how, how good it is. Um, but all you have to do is I, I actually win headers with players that aren't even that tall and that good in the air just because of the placement is is perfect and also the great thing about it is the keeper doesn't seem to be able to get to it if they bring the keeper out they seem to just actually just flap it and miss it so it's really effective that kind of position and if you if you want you should uh, just pause it where I take the uh, where I take the corner and you'll see exactly where the position is it obviously it ranges a little bit but we go into the next game so we're currently um, in Division 8, I believe now, because obviously we've won the title of Division 9, uh, and we are doing really, really well, because obviously this, this footage, believe it or not, was uploaded, or sorry, played a few days ago, so the 25th of September, I was already in Division 8, and obviously I'm not going to ruin it yet, but we may get to Division 7 by the end of this episode, and that's quite good going, considering mostly EA Access players are hardcore FIFA fans, and everyone starts in Division 10, so people that are in Division 8 and Division 7 right now, are actually people that could potentially be in Division 1 as well. So it's really competitive, even in these lower divisions for me. Um, but we do, uh, we are winning here 2-1. Comes to the last minute and a lovely save there from Begovic. It wasn't actually too hard to save. I think most goalkeepers would have saved it. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that, you know, a lot of these clips may be just my goals. But defensively, my team is holding up really well. And so, so is the goalkeeper as well. So as you can see there, halfway through leveled up in the Division 8. So we only win, need to win a few more games and we'll get the, the title. Uh, decided to open up a pack, of course, and uh, no players that I could sell on the market. So I literally just quick sold them and kept all the contracts and fitness as I usually do. And you might have noticed I'm actually not um, selling or moving around my team much. So what I'm doing from the middle of this episode, so around about now, I decided, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to save coins as much as possible until it gets to the point... Uh, where I have like 20 plus thousand coins and then I'm going to build a new squad and I was going to leave that up to you guys so what do you guys want to do and here we go there is a corner scored against me and it's exactly the same as mine so just to show you how good it is um, but as I was saying I need a new team I need a new league which league should I build a squad in now obviously as I said 20,000 coins is roughly the budget and what I'm going to do I'm going to sell I'm going to keep the best 11 players in this formation for my Premier League team. I'm going to sell all the other players, so I should get another 10 to 20,000 coins back from those players. And then I'm going to build either a Bundesliga, uh, a Serie A, which is now called Calcio A, I think it is. And then also, what's the other league? Liga BBVA, which is now called Liga Santander. So it's all down to you. What league would you like to see next? And maybe it could be a league. It could be just one nationality. So it could be German, Spanish, English. I think English would be, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't, I'm not going to say boring, but I think there'll be, a, you know, a few players which, you know, aren't a surprise. So I'd rather build a team that um, you guys feel like you can, you might use in the future and you, you know, I might find, a, you know, a hidden gem or something. Um, but we we are actually struggling in this game. It was nil-nil by half time. Well, I say struggling. You know, none of us had scored yet. It was quite an even match. And for some reason, the game just quit. I've come to the conclusion it could be because he was on EA Access and it just cancelled. You know, it just quit him out of the game. Um, I wasn't too sure. Um, it was, I don't think it was a rage quit because obviously none of us had scored at that point. Um, I didn't open a pack straight away after that game. I don't know, because this was recorded a few days ago, I can't remember what I was thinking. I don't know if I said to myself... Um, I wasn't going to open a pack, but what we do after the next game is actually open a 5k pack for that draw, if that makes sense. First goal, I got completely ripped apart. Um, my defending was poor there. Um, I was jockeying with a player and he had a lot of pace. and he, just, he basically just turned up the pace and he lost me and I, I couldn't keep up. But we do get a goal back here. Lovely finish. And that was from my centre mid, Perea. Per oh, bloody hell. He, he plays for my home team as well, which is Watford. And I can't even pronounce his name, but... Very quick succession. I managed to score a lovely uh, long shot. A, a class has kind of a long shot there with Fern. It's not too too long, but it is you know quite a nice goal. Here he gets really fortunate though with Wilshire. 
He actually takes a corner, it goes to Wilshere, he takes a shot, and it's a bit of a deflection, and it goes post and in. So, very, very pissed off. And it, as we come to the end of the game, oh my god, this could be our first loss, guys. You know, I don't know if you've noticed, but I haven't lost a single match yet. I think I've had three draws at this point, not a single loss. So, we're coming up to 90 minutes. Is this going to be it? No, it's not going to be it. I was thinking, oh my god, that was the chance. That was it. He started keeping the ball by the corner. I was like, I've got to do this. I've got to get it into Amrabat. Amrabat does it. He does he do it. Does he do it? Yes, he does. And I couldn't wait to dab on this one. So there we go. 88 minutes. And you know, basically what happened was we both went to defensive and we just played it out and it was a draw. So as as you uh, guys would have heard, we had a draw from the previous game, which I didn't open a pack. So I opened up a 5k pack here as you, as you do. Keep the contracts and I open up another 5k pack. So that's why I opened up two in a row. <clears throat> so guys, as I was saying, corners... We're going to get a corner coming up soon. But also chemistry styles. How have you guys found chemistry styles? Do you want me to do a video focusing on chemistry, chemistry styles? Which ones are the best to use? Um, if you want, I can do that. Um, because I think, you know, some this year, the chemistry styles make a massive difference to the players. Players that would have, like, low 80 pace could get to 90 pace with a chemistry style. It's that big, you know. Uh, but this game was going to be my hardest game, and I knew that. He had Suarez, he had James Rodriguez. I think they were both on loan. I actually can't remember, even though I just saw the screen, I can't remember if they were both on loan. But Suarez is the guy that, you know, is is the one. He always is in a great position. And if you don't believe me, just play on head-to-head -head if you haven't got him on Ultimate Team. And play against your friend, and Suarez will be the guy that is the biggest pain in the ass. And then, my controller decided to disconnect at 2-0 down. At the time I needed to have my controller on the most... It disconnected. It was only disconnected for about 10 to 15 seconds, but that is all he needed to score a goal, and that was it. I was losing 3-0. I was gutted. You know when you're... Have you ever started, you know, your ultimate team, or you're playing Call of Duty, and you don't want to ruin your KD, and it's going really well? I haven't got any losses on my account. I'm losing 3-0 in a road to glory. I know this is going on YouTube. I'm like, I need to score. I need to get a draw at least. Let's try and get three goals. It just wasn't working, as you can see there. Some of the opportunities I had were great, but I just couldn't put it away. My final... Final product just wasn't good, and I obviously had to go to attacking, so my uh, defence was left alone. Uh, 80th minute there, just come up to 80th minute, Suarez puts it away for 4-0. So, to be fair though, hands up, that player was great, but the second thing about that team was he had Suarez, and that Suarez, I've noticed that the, the players this year, off the ball, that are high rated, are very good. So I'm talking about players like Muller, Suarez, players that, you know, for example, if you have Ronaldo and Messi, you know they're going to be amazing, but I'm talking about the high rated players that are just usually very good, are extremely good this year. It's, it's, as I said, it's the off the ball kind of movement. It's the AI, what the AI does, which is fantastic. So after that, it did knock my confidence a bit, but we managed to smash it into the back of the net with fur, and this is the corner, guys. So you bring the uh, circle slightly closer to the keeper and slightly closer to the, uh, the free kick taker. So obviously that matters depending on where you are. And it's going to set up perfectly for either a big centre mid that you've got, which for me is Fellaini or Fur, or one of your centre backs, because obviously that's where your biggest and tallest players tend to be. Uh, but it was winning 2-0, uh, going into the 75th minute, Fur again winning another header uh, going forwards. He is just a beast, absolutely beastly guy. I love having him in my squads. I'd actually put him in pretty much every Premier League squad, even if I had a squad of like Hazard. Um, Ibrahimovic, all of that. I'd still put Fur in centre mid, you know that. He's actually that good. He's awesome. But this is going to be the second last game of this episode. We come up against a Premier League squad with Silva and Cazorla in here and also Depay on the left, I believe that was. We score another uh, corner here and that... Oh no, sorry, we don't score it. But I was kept this in there because it was a, a good corner. It was just bad execution there from my centre-back. So... Nice goal though here, nice pass in the movement, and uh, I actually can't remember this guy's name. I actually got him in a pack, but he tends to be a pretty decent player. Lovely uh, ball and control there. It's Amrabat. Just flicks over, and it goes for a volley. As you can see, weak foot volley just wasn't good enough. We do get quite fortunate with the way that the keeper didn't deal with that, and I managed to put it into the back of the net. But at this point of the game, he knew he needed to get a goal, so his defence was a little bit broken down. Amrabat getting through here, jumping over the defender, lovely finish, you can't really defend that, it's just it's just too good. Um, so 3-0 win there, 90 minutes, lovely. We only need one more win and we will get a promotion and we will get the title win. And we go and open up our pack and we get 86 with Tweedy, which is obviously going to get me some coins. I think he went for around 20,000 coins, not that I needed it either, because look at my bank balance. I've got like 16,000 coins or something, I, I can't see it because my screen's too small to see the coins in the top left, but... Our record's great at the moment. We just packed Matweedy. Um, one of my sub-objectives of this series, if you can remember from the start of the last episode, or even the first episode, was to pack an 85-plus rated player. 
and that is it. So the other one is to win Division 1 by 8 or 9 games played or less. Let's see if we can do that. So Amrabat here goes 1-0 up, puts us 1-0 up, and um, we actually... Nice bit of movement there from Delafue. Again, Amrabat, nice positioning. A lot of people would say, oh, that was a tramp, but to me, that was nice passing the movement, and that was just him not defending my player. He does take me down, and it just wasn't a good start for this guy. Chris Smalling, red cards, and I actually take a free kick here. A nice free kick. I've started to get a lot more consistent with these. So, again, another video if you want to see is free kicks. If you want me to break that down and show you how I take my free kicks, let me know. I will put it in future videos. Um, so that is the end of this episode, guys. As you, can see, as you can see, we won the title. We've got a lot of coins. What league would you like me to build next? Or even that, what nationality would you like me to build? So one's on top of my mind, Bundesliga, Serie A or Calcio A. And the other ones would be maybe a German German nationality or even Spanish, something like that. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you don't get 500 likes, um, we won't be uploading another episode. So make sure you do smash the likes if you want to see the next one. Make sure you subscribe as well. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.